Please talk to me, Jessica. It's nothing. You know, when I was little, your mother and I shared a room. And when I felt scared, she'd always ask me to try to remember something really special and tell her about it. I could always sleep after that. Why should I tell you anything? Whatever was good is over. You know, I could be your friend. Don't stop. Don't give up, Jess. We will find the way. Daddy! You must cross the ravine. How can I get across? Be willing to see with more than just your eyes. Mommy! Daddy! I was sorry. Oops. It was an accident. I'm so sorry. Stop it! I'm so clumsy. How could this have happened? Love the outfit. Your mommy pick it up for you? What's the matter with you? Back off, Dawn. Leave her alone. Get out of my face. I'll do whatever I want. Nice lunch. Oops. Let me get my book. No, Dawn.
What was it? It was the last thing my mother gave me. That girl is going to wish she never came here. I'm Peter. I'm Jessica. You're definitely the strangest little bird I've ever seen. Where are you going? Are you taking me somewhere? Jessica, isn't it? I was just on my way out to the garden and could use some help. Come along, dear. Winter gardens are my favorite gardens of the year. It's not too hot, and I love potatoes. Actually, squash is my favorite. Yellow squash, green squash. Ooh, but I can share my secret with you. Acorn squash with brown sugar, butter, and cinnamon. I don't think that's a very big secret. My mother would prepare acorn squash like that every winter. You are quite right, child. Even my mother fixed Ruth's secret. Oh, did she? What fine mothers you all have. She's dead. So it goes. Seasons come and go. Winters die as spring is born. Have you seen her again? What do you mean? It's possible, perhaps in a dream. I hear her voice. How did you know my name? A little bird told me. Come, I have some weeding to do. I don't understand. The weeds steal the nourishment so the plant can't grow. I didn't mean I didn't understand about pulling weeds. I meant I didn't understand about a little bird told you. You're up speech, my dear. Peter told me about you. This is Beverly and I'm Ruth. He said you were different than anyone he's ever met. Really? Different good, I hope. Anyway, it's Peter who's different. The other day, this stupid girl was freaking out, destroying my stuff. And then Peter walks up, and she completely changes. Really? really? Do you know why she stopped being so angry when she saw Peter? Because Peter has spent a lot of time 
taking care of the garden. Hi. Hi. I met your grandmother. I heard that. Let me guess. A little bird told you? How did you know? That's her, isn't it? What a jerk. Look at her kick that ball. She's great. You wouldn't catch me playing with her, or against her. You won't have to worry. She was kicked off the school team for fighting with the coach. I'd love to play soccer, but I'm a total klutz with the ball. You could have Dawn teach you. Thanks, but I'm not ready to die. Uh, I gotta go now. Thanks for the snack. What's the matter? Julie? Why did they have to die? I don't know why accidents happen. All I know is losing people we love hurts. Julie, mm -hmm. could I tell you that story now? Oh, I'd really like that. One time, we were all on a picnic on this beautiful lake, and we went in this rowboat. Mommy and I sat in one end, and Daddy sat in the other. When we rowed up to the dock, Daddy got out first the front end of the boat flew up, <laughs> and me and Mommy got dumped into the lake with all our clothes on. And when Daddy saw us slashing and laughing, he jumped in with all his clothes on. Then all these people came running over, thinking we were in trouble. When they saw us splashing and laughing, they thought we were total weirdos. But it didn't matter.
It's beautiful, Jessica. What do you say, Beverly? I dreamt about a garden like this. It's wonderful. I especially like the choice of the pink petunias next to the white. You did a lovely job, dear. But you know, I still say the south side is a more suitable location for the rock garden. Look from over here. To have something this nice, it must be in the right place. You are quite right. To be most appreciated, the garden should be on the south side. Jessica, dear, please move the rock garden over here. Then it will be perfect. Goodness me, look at the time. The bread's been rising for two hours. Did I understand you correctly? You asked me to move the rock garden? Look for yourself, my dear. The balance isn't quite right now. Beverly has a wonderful sense for these things. But it took me two weeks to do this. You can't expect me to move the whole thing now. Patience. The process just moves on. You are angry because you thought the garden was finished. If you move the garden, it doesn't take away from what you gained by building the garden in the first place. But to have me tear down all the work that I've done and start over, it's not fair. It's not right. Why do you keep coming here, Jessica? So I could learn how to get Don to stop bothering me. To make peace with Don, you must first have peace within yourself. If you expect me to move the rock garden, then you're nothing but a crazy old lady. And I don't know why I came here. Be willing to see with more than just your eyes. I haven't seen you. I haven't wanted to be seen. I've decided. When I grow up, I'm going to be a bear. I'm practicing hibernation. Ruth said she hasn't seen you either. So? So, what's going on? Where's the mighty rock garden builder? Shut up. Why don't you go stop some wars? Hey, why are you angry at me? I don't want to talk to you. I wouldn't want you to injure yourself leaning down to me. Jessica, what's the matter? 
I don't have what it takes, oh great one. Stop it. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. My bad dreams are back. I hate Julie and Nathan more than ever. I'm doing horrible in school, and I hate my parents for putting me in this stupid situation. Go back to the garden, but this time for you. I want to be here with you so much, but I don't think I can ever be what you expect. Why? I don't know. It's like in my dream. Every night, I'm lost in this horrible jungle full of spooky shadows. I come to this huge ravine. And I hear my mother calling to come across, but there's no way for me to do it. But you can get across, my dear. No, there's nothing. But there is. You're looking in the wrong direction. What do you mean? You are looking outside for what can only be found within. But without my mom and dad, what difference does it make? I don't want my life now. What is it? Nothing, dear. Jessica, there's something I want to tell you. Your mother and father are no longer here, but they have never left you. Their love remains. It is what led you to me, even by way of dawn. There are many mysteries in life and death, but a purpose overall. When you can accept this, you will have your bridge. She's carrying that stupid Missing art project. 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 It looks so yeah. fragile. There's no way she could put that thing back together. Oh my god, oh my god, Dawn, come on. This would be so cool. Let it go. What? I'm not in the mood. What's with you lately? You scared of the little artist? No. Then do what you promised. Forget you, Dawn. Why don't you go plant some Flowers. What's that supposed to mean? I've seen you hanging around the house with those crazy old ladies. Shut up. You're a huge letdown, Don. Remember your mother's glass horse. You said you would never forgive her for that. Dawn's glass horse. 
The one her mother gave her? Before she left. Two years ago. Those jerks. I'll build it again. Sorry about breaking your mom's glass horse. Wanna have a sandwich? Please. My mom and dad aren't around anymore either. They died in a car accident two months ago. Sorry. I haven't seen you kicking the ball around lately. You're really good. I always wished I could play, but whenever I tried, I was either falling over my feet or falling over someone else's. I was terrible. Maybe sometime you could show me how to play a little. Do you want to play now? Sure. Mm -hmm. 